Hey guys, it's that time again. It's your boy, Howard Legend. Let's rock. Hey, how's everybody doing today? We're back again. It's time to whoop up on these punks. Let's rock. What, what, what? What do you still want still? We done whooped him up last time we came through. Pokemon battle. Cool. Rumble. <laughs> Let's rock and roll. Malak. Right, hoy. Right, horn's got the old rock attack. Then we might be a hoitin'. We shall see. If we can smack it with a deep. Oh man. Yep. We get hit, it's gonna be one hit KO. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Almost. Should have known. Okay. I tell you what will hurt to throw out is root roots. He's at an advantage when it comes to rock types. Good old brute root. Hope you guys have been enjoying the series thus far. If you guys got any ideas I can mix things up as far as the story mode goes, let me know down in the comment section below. If not, just let me know everything's a okay and we'll just keep on rolling it how we're doing it. Okie dokie. But it all the way. The three Pokeballs. Oh. You know who'd win. You and me one on one. Well, whatever. You just got your butt whooped, so. We come gather out. It says we come gather out here because of the wide open spaces. Wide open spaces. Gerald! Black Mar. Oh my, your boy forgot to Zippo again. Time for Shell Shocker to cook his goose because it's a water type, of course. <clears throat> Shouldn't hurt us too much. Got pretty high defense. There are water types, so we kind of snuff out the old. How do you say it? Fire! Magmar's like, I'm not having it. Scalded. Well, Shell Shocker's gonna really turn up the heat. Shell. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And with that, he uh, snuffed out the flame. Oh yeah, we did it! Oh, Duh. Wipe out. Oh. It's cool you made your Pokemon so strong. Might is right, and you know it. Now, let's heal up. Rock on. I need to burn some time to shut up and battle. Well. Well. I'm speechless, Mr. Felix. Such matters you have. Let's reward those matters, shall we? And help myself to a victory. Dig, dig, dig. Whoa. Mind blown. Why? That's the first time in my Pokemon's and Ormond career that I've been hit with a toxic while underground out of the way. I did not know that you could hit 
Pokemon with a status move, and they'd be underground. Maybe this is old. I didn't play. It's new to me. That is for sweet. Anyway. Did I clear my status? Oh, I just closed my stats. Me, me, me. And I out punch. Let's see if I can outspeed it. If I can, I'm in the good. And if I can take it out one hit, I'm good. Hey. Good job, Shell Shocker. Shell Shocker, you to level 37. Mr. Zippo, up and at him. What you? Three Pokeballs. Let's see what he says now. Raising Pokemon is a drag, man. Ah, that's just your opinion, man. Onwards. Raising Pokemon is such a. Oh, I didn't say that. Ha. Huh. I leveled up my Pokemon, but it won't evolve. Why? Let's we'll see what Pokemon you got. Zeke. Machoke. Well, the solution would be you need to trade that Machoke so it can evolve into a Machomp. There's a bit of info for you folks that's watching. Okay. I'd say most of you original OG Pokemon fans from back in the day as familiar with Machoke knows that you do have to trade them along with other Pokemon. For example, you need to trade Graveler. You would also need to train. Um, hang on for a second. Go ahead and finish this up. You'd also need to train a uh, trade Hunter. You get King Guard, etc. That's why this guy cannot. Why you get triggered? <laughs> Anyway, maybe some Pokemon need certain stones to evolve. Well, you got a point. That is true. But you also got to trade. That's crazy. In the world of Pokemon, there's all kinds of ways to evolve Pokemon. Chancy! I couldn't be wrong, but this may be our first Chansey in the wild. Two, one. Yeah. We got your head Egg Pokemon. A gentle and kind hearted Pokemon that shares its nutritious eggs. If it sees an injured Pokemon, how sweet. Very caring Pokemon that one is. Golden Raspberry. Yeah, I like old Chansey. Oh. Lock on. We proceed. Let's check out a Pokemon. Yes. Chop Suey. Chop Chop Suey. All is good in the land of Pokemon as far as our team needing to be healed. This mysterious lady. Trainers around here are all very strong. That's right. I've trained every single one of them. I assume you want to get strong. Shall I be your opponent then? Yes, it would be an honor. Here I come! Pooh! Trainer. Mitch. Ouch. Much Hulk. Should have had old PG out for this, but you know, when you got it in the set, I think, they, you never know what's coming up next. Add suspense to the battles. Never know what's going to be smacking you next. Just like that slap to the face. Hoop get goose. Did it burn? It burned. I kind of called it on that one. How about. We 
give it a brick break. Chop suey of its own. Won't do much good. That's something you don't normally want to do. You just use the same fighting type as the Pokemon you're facing if it's the same type because it won't be really effective. Magmar. Magmar is getting ready to bite the bullet on this one. You can see it's fire type. You want to go with water type. Rock types and ground types also very handy. One more skull and the battle be a rat attack. Stone's gonna get her lips smacked off of her face. We'll be alright. Now I've trained you too. I thank you. I see the flame of potential in you. Let me give you a TM worthy of your skill. Fire Porch! TM31 to teach your Pokemon. It says it can even give an opponent a burn if you're lucky. Thank you, Midge. Onwards! What if I need to? Okay. I was kind of hoping this was a dead end. So I came up purposely to see if there was something like this. Lo and behold, there is. Want to play with my Pokemon? Sure, let's see what you got. Yasmin. Yazi. Tangela. I say it's rough trying to get ready for work as Tangela in the mornings. A messy bedhead hairstyle. Got to heal up her boy Blastoise, because I'm such, such what? I don't know. In a great mood that I want to keep on trucking, keep on pushing through this adventure. Sometimes you kind of stumble up as in not healing behind Pokemon. Gotta slow down. Despite your boy rocking the Pokemon series since its debut back on uh, Game Boy with Red, Blue, and Yellow, I even I stumble up sometimes to this day. Which I guess it doesn't help when you kind of step away from the series. I've, not, I've never truly stepped away from the series. I've always played all the core Pokemon games. I haven't got to play all the spin-offs, which I'd like to at some point in time. Um, we are at a disadvantage, folks. Hmm. We can kind of switch this up. Sick out the old root root. Now see, here's the problem. Seeking potentially may no peck, which is a flying type move, and grass stops when we get flying. I know I plump forgot what I was trying to explain earlier, but that's what happens when your boy has ADHD or anybody else. So that's a misinterpretation because ADHD affects everybody in different ways. And enough rambling on about that. That has nothing to do with this. Maybe just limit. Of course, if it gets on this goes. I remember getting Pokemon cards that had the move Peck. I think it was Peck or Drill Horn or something like that. And I remember it would do like is there a 50 or 80 damage for for just two energies, two colorless energies, which is pretty crazy. Normally for attack like that, you probably need three, maybe four. Your boy's pretty rusty at uh, Pokemon TCG, you know. So that's something I definitely like to pick back up on. It's not like I never gave it up, it's just, I don't know. Stepped away from it briefly. I was too impatient. Indeed you was. I'll go train with the weaker people. Okay. Alrighty then, your boy is back. Had a in between healing and whoa saving. Well, this is a surprise. When I whistle, I can summon a bird Pokemon. 
Something I was never good at is whistling. Edwin. Rodrigo. Remember the first episode of Pokemon and you see a Dodrio up on a, it's like a barn or a house. The anime that is. And it's using its call or however it sounded. It's like, I can't remember. All I do know is I know the little three heads was like fucking and crowing around like a rooster in the morning. It's time to get up. Of course, for those of you that has watched the Pokemon anime, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Level up. Oh, that's tragic. Ah. Bingo. That was a random burp. I apologize. Maybe I'm not cut out for battles. I'm not the right type, I guess. You said it, not me, my boy. Okie dokie. Oh, we're gonna fight another battle then. Woo. I raise Pokemon for protection because I live alone. I don't blame you there. In the world of Pokemon, it can be dangerous. Beauty, Alana. Roll. We are at an advantage. And our K9 as a did set advantage. He's fire type. And we're gonna put that goose. Two more to go. <laughs> got us a number two growl if one of she's got all growl. Mimi Wonders. Got the sniffles. Just a teensy bit. I think I'm about in the final phases of the sickness. Number three, third growlet down. Pokemon aren't about winning or losing for me. What? How? Dear lady, tell me about it. I love having my Pokemon greet me when I get home. It's so reassuring. We got Hyper Potion. Okay. Well. Work over all your cash when you lose to me, kid. Heh. <laughs> you wish, buddy. That is not gonna happen on my watch. Capish, Mr. Alex? You and your charbuck is not gonna stop me, alrighty? You just cool your heels. Right here, right now. Can you say, Dick? So that's what you can learn to get. B.I.G. Yeah. One more diggeroony for you, and it's night night. At least until you get to the Pokemon Center. Huh. Here we go, dig. Game over. <sighs> Level 39. Let it be. Mach 40. It can't be true. Well, check your eyes. It just happened. 
I was joking about the money. Don't take me all serious. I'm sure you was joking. Sucker would have robbed us blind. Hey, kid, come on. I just got these off some loser. Oh, so you a thief, huh? These punks is up to no good, Ernest. I'm Dig it is. Karate chop. We need us a good old flying type, what we need. How many skulls do we got left? We may need that. Let's switch out. Mock, come on out, baby. It's time to do your stuff. You turn and who's coming out next? Then tell me about it. See what we got. Muck. Well, curses. Two can play that game. You turn. Thanks to the TM you turn, I actually was able to uh, learn that move for Pidgey. What should I say? Muck. Boss got dig? I don't think so. Hiya. Okay. If I tell you, he does got dig. My boy Charizard. Check an old camera real quick. Let's reach. What was that? Man. Dig a little Comes that toxic again. it up with a fire spin? Question mark, can we wrap it up with a fire spin? I hope. Bah. Ouchies. It's not looking good. Muck is a formidable foe. But we still got it. Yeah. And Primate is back. Now we can use some mock action. Well, 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 we go with mock. There we go. Is that all you got? I'll give you something to complain about. We can attack anyone. That's my friends. It's all she wrote. I don't get it. I don't get it either. Why are you still people's Pokemon? Life's too short. It's cool to live as an outlaw. Team Rocket rules. Get lost, punk. Alright, let's backtrack a little bit more. Okay. Internet. See if we can catch this Beninat. Come on, there we go. That ain't no Beninat. Spin him off. Three. 
two, and got it. Got to win the moth. Not doing that. Let's see what it says. Poison moth Pokemon. The powdery scales on its wings are hard to remove from its skin. They also contain poison that leak out on contact. Hmm. Don't sound good at all. At least for the attacker, anyway. Onwards. Bloom, Pidgeot. Just say, Route 15, west of Fuchsia City. What do you say? Maybe I'm not cut out for battles. I'm not the right type, I guess. I think we've read that off once before. And here we are going through this passageway. You the kid working on the Pokedex? One of Professor Oak's assistants came by here. He seemed to be looking for you. Maybe our assistant is upstairs. Let's check. Aha. Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants. The professor told me that if your Pokedex has good data on 50 species of Pokemon, I'm to give you this wonderful item. So, Hyrule Legend, let me ask you. Have you gathered data on at least 50 species of Pokemon? I want to say yes. Great. 53. Congratulations. Here, take this wonderful item. Oh, I don't have it. Did I lose it? Oh, sorry, what shall I do? I don't have anything to give you. I know. Whoosh. Pew. Okay, here it is. You got an assistant set from Professor Oak's assistant. What? I made adjustments on my lab coat for you and your Pokemon. My precious lab coat. Please wear it with care. Now I look like an ordinary person, but please remember that I'm assistant to Professor well, I wasn't expecting that. He was so kind, he gave us the sheriff his own back. Now, me and Puka is our, <clears throat> a rocking our assistant gear. Tara Puka. Alright. Woo! Fusha City. It's just full of rare Pokemon. You're not allowed to catch any of them, though. Apparently, they belong to the city. Take a peek. Let's see what the binoculars have to show. It looks like there's a small island on the horizon. To the bar? Let's see. A large shining bird is flying towards forward. What? Toward the sea? I wonder if one of those shining birds could be one of the legendaries. Who knows? I think, personally, that it probably is. Alrighty. Yusha City, welcome. Behold, it's Passion Pink. What do we got here? Let's head on to the Pokemon Center, shall we? Well, if I could get over there, I would. Huh. Let's check out these houses first. Who lives here? Home of the Safari Zone Warden. Warden, it see it's uh it's hot to huh? Halos Matif in the thee please help we Yes Uh how oh who the roots my theme I remember the warden just like in the original he lost his dentures. That's why we can't understand him. The po there are Pokemon fossils and rare stones on display. Beautiful. A heavy block is... A heavy looking block. But a strong Pokemon available. Okay. There's a secret behind that stone. I'll we'll have to come back and check it out later.
This empty house was borrowed and repurposed as a place to share information, but with all these experts around, the place feels a little tense. What now we got? There are always, says, there are ways you can get a sp special bonuses when you catch a Pokemon. Number one, time your throw to land when the ring is small. Number two, catch them with your first throw, and so on. We'll get You'll get a lot of good things out of it, such as extra experience points. Oh. You're more likely to find an item after catching a Pokemon if you feed it to a Pineapple first. Right? You've noticed that too, right? Hmm, maybe? Let's see what these guys are up to. If you catch the same Pokemon species over and over, you get a catch combo. If you can keep going, I hear you'll be more likely to run into shiny Pokemon. It's good to know. If you catch a bunch of the same Pokemon species, the chance of you finding an item after catching them increase. I go for a Geodude and Onyx myself. Waha! Back here. That's the best escape. Take us outside to the town. Super lore. Well, you can go fishing back there? Oh. Okie okay, dokie. Let's see what this fisherman is up to. The empty house was borrowed and repurposed as a place to share information, but with all these experts around, the place feels a little tense. Let's see. I think we should go on back the other way. Definitely blocked off there. How about we talk to this gentleman real quick? Eric, where's Sarah? I said I'd meet her here to catch Pokemon, but all I'm catching are some weird looks. That's not good at all. Someone might think you're snooping around. Have you tried using an X speed? It's temporarily boost a Pokemon speed in battle. Where are all the souvenirs promoting the go parks? No t shirt, no snow globes, not even a poultry parse postcard or two. I butchered that. Time to stock up. All stocked up. Onwards we shall go. Trusha City is actually really pretty, in my opinion. Talk to this girl real quick. Lapras sure is wonderful. Where can you catch one? I'd say Lapras is definitely one of my favorites. How about we talk to this gentleman later? Get on to the Pokemon Center. Talk to these kind folks here. You can't become a great trainer by raising just one of your Pokemon to be super strong. You've got to develop your whole team evenly. But that's no easy task either. You guys got a point. If you don't try to balance, you will definitely have a rough time. You, do you have a ground type Marowak? If possible, I would like to trade my Marowak for it. No, but I got a Cubone. No pressure, of course. There's a book called Pokemon Journal with interviews. The president of the Pokemon fan club tells us about the things he simply can't get enough of. When you pet a Pokemon, touch it very lightly, for example, for my Rapidash, I stroke it along its fur like this. Oh ho! You know how smooth it is? Like a gentle breeze, it feels so nice. And when you go like so, <clears throat> That's the best. I could spend my whole day like this. Oh, I am sorry. 
What was I talking about? He's got worse ADHD than I do. There's a narrow trail that leads west out of Viridian City, right? Have you seen it? It leads to the Pokemon League, the organization that governs all Pokemon trainers. Oh, it seems like you've been having quite a marvelous adventure. That means I should increase the moves I can teach your Pokemon. So, hey you, do you want me to teach? Please, Splishy Splash. What is Splishy Splash? Get rid of Dig. Splishy Splash. Build a marvelous relationship with your Pokemon, okay? You betcha. You're, if you're working on a Pokedex, you should visit the Go Park. Yusha City, a town where many people and Pokemon gather. The Safari Zone is located here. Alrighty, guys. We shall get our Pokemon healed up. But I also will leave it here as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like, share, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to stay up to date on all things gaming with Hyrule Legend. And next time, good luck Pokemon trainers.